Okay, Ra Raul had asked a question about twin pregnancy. It's not really covered in detail in the Blitz videos, but he wanted a little more guidance on it. and said, can you uh, please guide about pertaining to the delivery and modifiers. So, what we worked up here, let's see. gotten in some information from the forum. This had actually come in on the forum and someone had posted, um, I don't think we posted their name, but it was really excellent advice. On the twin delivery uh, deal, she says, I had an, I have experience on that. Depends on your insurance carrier and that is very true because what you're dealing with in the real world isn't necessarily the same thing that that you deal with when you're testing. So keep that in mind for you coders who are uh, you know, already coders and are going to get certified. Don't think about what Blue Cross Blue Shield wants. Think about what the guidelines tell you. She said she bills uh, 59400 for uh, the, the global and postpartum care for a vaginal delivery, 59510 for C-section, and then a 59409 delivery only, or 59514 for C-section only, with modifier 59 for the twin. Okay? Now that's important. Uh, I'll cover some more of that in just a second. Think about if you had a mom in labor delivered the first vaginally, but uh, maybe the second one is breech and then they did an emergency C-section. You can't put a 22 on that, a modifier 22. If you saw the patient for ultrasounds and build them out, you don't put a modifier 22 um, on them. It's all in, in corporate, incorporated in there. You would bill one monogram normally like 76815 and then the same sonogram with a modifier 59 for the second baby. At least that's what she's saying that she would do. And of course, anytime you do anything that's unusual like that, you need to check with the insurance company and make sure that's what they want you to do because they'll just, they'll deny you. And um, people who like the billing aspect of, of coding, uh, you're talking to the insurance companies quite a bit. Let's scroll down. Okay, let's see. So she's saying for the extra modifier 22 for the delivery, the second twin, but that is something you'd have to know prior to billing. And you can always the pill. She likes OB, but it's tricky. And that's exactly the point here. It is tricky. What you need to keep in mind is that you're not only dealing with the insurance carriers, but you're also dealing with statistics. And a lot of times coders forget that. So there's three things that you want to do when you're dealing with pregnancy coding. Three questions to ask yourself. How how many babies were born? Normally you're going to have one, in this case you have two. How was the delivery done? Was it done via C-section or was it a vaginal delivery? And what was the outcome? Live born, that's the terminology that you will use. So for an example, twins both born vaginally, your CPT codes are going to be 59400 modifier 22 if that's what the insurance company wants. Or you would do 59400 and 59409 for the twin with a modifier 52. Now, let's change it up a little bit. Oh, because see, I wrote it down there. So you've got the, the twins, one veg, one C-section, 59510 and 59409. Now, twins with a C-section, it'd be just 59510. You don't need to add a modifier, that modifier 22 on there. Okay, scroll down a little bit, and I think, okay. Now, if you're going to do ICD-9, you've got a twin uh, delivery. It's going to be 6510, and the X is just there to indicate there's a uh, subclassification, and you just need to pick the correct subclassification code, and live born, V27.2. Okay, now, the scenario, you can, you can do any scenario this way, uh, but in its most basic form, you've got 
twins born via vag delivery, both live born with new com no complications. Five nine four zero zero five nine four zero nine modifier fifty two six five one point zero zero v two seven point two. It just all of those codes just told that story. Twins were born via vag delivery, both were live born, no complications. If there's complications, that's just more codes that you tack on to the end, whether it was, you know, a breech baby or, or um, something like that. But it, it's kind of fun because you just literally tell a story with the codes when it comes to deliveries. Get more CPC exam tips, coding certification training, and CEU credits. Go to www.codingcertification.org.